Your heads will look nice in my trunk. Very, very nice. Clean. You really? Why would you do that? I look like, do they not think about me? The person, the guy, the brave, brave janitor that has got to come in here and freaking scrub this off the walls. What is going on, everybody? My name is Hypercore Ripper, and today we are back playing Viscera Cleanup Detail. So Viscera Cleanup Detail is once again back on the channel, guys. And if you have never seen this game before, if you do not know what it is, then I will explain it to you. Essentially, we play as an incredibly, oh, such a handsome janitor. One that looks as good as this. In one hand, we have got ourselves a mop, and in the other hand, we have got ourselves a bucket. And we've just got to clean a uh, load of stuff, and that's really the premise of the game. But if you've never seen me play this game, I don't do a hell of a lot of cleaning. I'm in this for the exploration, and just about having a good freaking time. I might do a little bit of cleaning here and there, but for the most part, it is all about exploring and having ourselves a good old time. So today, we're going to be trying out the brand new update which came out just the other day this is like the first brand new map in about a year i believe so <laughs> oh, i better be good it is called the up rinsing and as you can see there by the pictures there's some graffiti on the walls i believe there is also a painting system and a bunch of new things so uh let's freaking go and as always guys if you do enjoy this episode of viscera and you would like to see me do some more if you also want to see me continue on with my steam custom workshop levels series that i've got of this hit the like button leave a comment down below maybe subscribe Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll do some more for you very, very soon. Okay, so this is the briefing right here. Our name is Janitor. We are the age of 34. We're a hygiene technician, and the brief is, given the nature of what occurred at this department, we will keep this cut. Clean up the residual fallout of the incident, or you shall find yourself in some very dark waters indeed. See to it that the organic evidence, the failings of security personnel, and the various writings are all scrubbed vigorously from existence. I suggest with utmost surety that you do not in any way, however slight, disobey your your instructions. And what you gonna do if I do disobey these instructions? Quite honestly, I don't want to know what's gonna happen if I disobey the rules, so we need to get on with this, and um, yeah, this is uh, time to pay the piper, right? Can we your piper? Oh, can we really not get rid of you? Oh my god, it is ever so slow. Dude, it is so, so freaking slowly fading away. That is ridiculous. We are going to literally be here all day. If I have to do it this way, we will be here forever. There has got to be another way, another method. Maybe like, yeah, maybe if we just beat it away from the wall, just smack it away. What about this over here? Can we get rid of Actually, why would I? No, 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 no. That is me. I am not getting rid of that. I would very much like to know what has gone on around these parts. Why right here, for example, is David Turner? My bestest buddy in the whole wide world. Let me show you my bestest buddy's face. David, David, uh, show. Show us your face, David. Uh, okay, David, you just go over there. Yeah, why are there so many dead janitors everywhere? What has gone on here? Give us our due or we will... Oh, oh, corporate, yeah. Oh, yeah, they've had a riot. That is why it's called the up rinsing, or it could also be interpreted as the uprising. There has been an uprising of the janitors, and, well, they've, they've uh, get, um, killed lots of people. That's a little robot. I love adorable little robots. Adorable little robots get to go over here. No, no, no. I said adorable little robots get to sit on top. The robot, you're so goddamn heavy. This sign right here says, don't replace us. Say no to... Ah, oh, so yeah, the uprising against the machine. So that, that, that makes a lot of sense. These people, these lovely janitors, me and my fellow buddies, we do not want these goddamn droids to take over. At least I think I've got the right end of the stick here. Or have I got the completely wrong one? Have the droids, have the droids been killing everyone? <laughs> I've got no idea. Can we get into any of these rooms? These are all locked. Is there like, are there any passcodes or anything like that that we can use to get into them? Can we use the elevator? Is that a thing? If I were to just grab at the controls, it's not going to open. There's the clocking out section right here. What have we got over here? We just got, my God. Why, people? Why have you made such a mess? I do not appreciate the graffiti all over the walls. The graffiti, which is just not coming up. We need to find something. We need to find something else to get this stuff off the walls with. There has got to be something around here. Something or someone that I can use to get the stuff off the walls with. So this little data log here is from the manager. It's essentially saying that the crews, these janitors out here, they're getting a little bit angry. The numbers are growing and they are getting ever so pissed off. So, uh, yeah, that's why they've decided to write and uh, murder everybody. <laughs> I am certain that is why. What has gone on here? Give us our due or we'll take it by force. Yeah, yeah, you you really took it by force, didn't you? Yeah, you just lie on top of him and I'll uh, leave you two to it. Your heads will look nice in my trunk. Very, very nice. Clean. You Really? Why would you do that? I look like, do they not think about me? The person, the guy, the brave, brave janitor that has got to come in here and freaking scrub this off the walls. The brave janitor has got to scrub away, scrub away all freaking day. And if for a... <laughs> 
for it to not do a goddamn thing. What about you right here? Would you like to help me scrub this off the walls if I just sort of slam you against the- Yeah, 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 it's working. Maybe we could just mask the graffiti. Yeah, we'll just paint it with blood. Let me see. We just got a load of dead janitors around here. A load of dead janitors and their picket signs. I'm just going to put you over here with your friend. There's a really cool movie. Yeah, Crow Magnon. Do Crow Magnon P.I. He is the freaking man. He is so much the man that I'm just going to mask it with blood. Just going to mask the advert with blood. These doors all along here, they are also locked. So we have got to go back. We've got to go back and we've got to find a way to get rid of the graffiti. I am going to be really, really freaking confused if we do actually have to use the mop to get rid of the graffiti. Because honestly, it's not going to happen. I was actually going to give it a go. But if that really is the case, then it's not happening. I'd read somewhere that there was a painting system in this update. A lovely painting system, which I assumed we were going to use to get the war. Uh, Oh, 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 what in the hell has happened down here? Who are you? You're another cyborg? Okay, so cyborgs now have got blue blood. I'm just going to flip you over so I can see your lovely cyborg. Yeah. Oh, it's the Terminator. <laughs> what about the broom? Can we sweep the graffiti off the walls? Yeah, look at that stuff. <laughs> Dude, it's not gonna work. I guess we're just gonna have to do this the good old-fashioned way. The good old-fashioned way with my lovely mop. Just get all this disgusting crap. Oh, so that's some graffiti right there. My mop is now covered in purple crap. It is covered with purple crap, which I'm just going to use to mask the graffiti with. I'm just... Clean this, I will goddamn clean it. Is there anybody or anything down here? There's a man lying underneath this. I will just recover your body. I said I will recover your body. Just pop it over there. And then down here, we just got more bodies, more robots, more you know, half robots and the other halves of the robots. And Jesus Christ, what the hell's happened here? Oh, we got one of these zappy guns. Okay, can I use this to get the... No, can't use that to get the graffiti off those. Can we pick up, please? Please, please. Can we pick... We... I mean, we can pick it up, but we can't use it. And Max Cornwell has left a lovely message for us. It's almost time. Thanks to Ruth's help, we now have a better understanding of the office and what areas we need to secure if this little protest of ours is going to have any success. For too long, we've suffered in silence. Bob fights for us. Now we'll fight for... Oh, yeah, and look how well, well your protest went. You're all dead. And then down here, we've got cough up or choke. Where's our gear? Listen, we will be heard. No, you won't. Uh, Bob will free... Who is Bob? Am, am, am I Bob? Am I? I think I, yeah, I am the Bob. We've also got some flares here, which we can crack against the wall. There we go. We can light those there. I'm just going to give that to you and uh, go with the... Oh my God, that's terrifying. I'm going to assume that is the boss right there. That is the lovely horned devil boss himself that we're not going to mess with. In here, we've got ourselves the... Ah, we've got the incinerator. The lovely incinerator, which I'm just going to use to pop you in. No, 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 no. I said, you are going... No, 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 no. I want her to go into the incinerator. I don't want it to get caught on fire. Just like, there we go. And then we close it up and just leave you to burn. There's also some red barrels here. We could have some fun with those. I imagine, you know, it's a video game after all. Red barrels in video games tend to equal explosion. So I'll do I put that in there. We wait. We wait. Yeah, explosion. And then there's just one last room here. This is the very, very last room. I'm guessing this is like their little room where they sort of organize the protest. They create the little picket signs. Like, pay, you peace. Yes, pay up suits. And then uh, we've got some of these doodads right here. We've got, yeah, just a load of crap. Ooh, what does that say? Acid, yeah, yeah, acid. I don't really care about that. I like the acid. I'm actually going to make an effort to do some cleaning now. I am actually going to scrub the floors. Going to scrub the floors and the walls and get rid of some of this crap. Going to make it nice and tidy around here. These people are going to love me. They are going to freaking love what I do with this place. We are going to make this place nice and tidy indeed. I'm not going to be able to get rid of the graffiti because I literally have no idea how to. But everything else, everything... Oh! I forgot you could do that. God freaking damn it, I forgot that you could do that. Okay, but that's not a problem because, you know, it's all there in one spot. We get ourselves, we just get another little bucket. We get out our mop, we get out the mop. I said, we get the... Uh, the the mop. And then I managed to spill some more, so now we're just treading blood all around the place. But anyway, where were we? There we go. Okay, good. So the mess that we have made is now gone. Let us make our way into this office here. And actually, rather than me having to go back and forth with buckets, I wonder, can we stack these things up? They look like they should be stackable. So if I were to just pop you in there like so... That worked. I can't believe that worked. I had no idea you could do that. I mean, I'm assuming that's a thing in this. I don't know if they're going to, like, glitch out and explode as soon as I pick the one on the bottom up. Let us find... 
Oh my god! That is so goddamn useful. And then we just take it. Oh my way, dude. That, that's so much better. I mean, I'm assuming that that has been in there for quite some time, but I've only just freaking discovered it. We are gonna make this place lovely and clean. We are even going to get the get the briefcase. Get the brief. Oh, screw it. Actually, I'm not here to clean up the briefcases. That's the employee's problem. That is your problem right there, my dead friend. Okay, that is a nice clean room right there. I mean, taking into account everything else in here, you know, I can't be dealing with this kind of, you know, the corpses and the picket signs and the, you know, the cans and that kind of... I'm just, I, I'm just a man in a mop. All I am here to do is just mop up the mess and uh, actually burn some bodies. We definitely need to burn some bodies. So we need to get a water load. We need to get one of these storage boxes and put some people in there. So you two lover birds from earlier. You are going to be the first people that go in there. I said you are going to be the first people. Just shove your face in there and you get nice and comfy. Your boyfriend will be in there in a moment, but I just need you to get in there first. Maybe if I put him back on top of you, is that what you want? Would that make you feel a little bit more comfortable if you just shove him? Yeah, look at that comfort. They are the most comfortable looking couple ever. They are also the lightest couple ever. I can't actually believe I can pick this thing up. I can't believe that I can pick it up. I can't believe, actually, I can believe that I then knocked it over and now they're freaking lying on the ground. Why are you doing this to me, people? Just get in there. I don't care if I'm breaking your spine. <laughs> Oh my goodness. This is not going to work. We can only get one person in there for the moment. So I need to get you back in there, my freaking friend. If you could just break your spine again. I know it's like repaired itself now. But if you could get back in there, then that would be great. God damn it. Why do you stupid people keep on falling out of the box? I want you to get in. Oh, screw it. You can go over there. I'll tell you something that doesn't mind going in the box, though, is a freaking bottle of water. The bottle of water I'm going to hear no complaints from. The bottle of water actually wants to go. The bottle of water actually wants to get freaking burned. So you go in there. I said... If you go in there, thank you very much. And actually, do you know what? Let's just get the other explosive barrel to make this a bit more exciting. Make it loads more exciting than we just close it up. Actually, this time I'm just going to stand next to it. And uh, maybe we open the door and... I think that's a good place to end the video. That is a very, very good place for us to end this video. While we stare at the mess that we have just created from our own body, we are going to end it there, guys. So I really hope you've enjoyed this episode of Viscera. If you have, hit the like button, comment below, subscribe if you have not already, and there will be more for you very, very soon. But for now, that is it. Thank you for watching.